This video is how all about how power rule in deriv derivatives is being derived in differentiation. How power rule in differentiation is being derived. Now we're going to show it. Now we're going to show that the differential of x to the power n with respect to x is equal to n times n times x to the power n minus 1. So now, for us to prove this, let's go to the next page. Now, let's assume that y is equal to the function x, which is equal to x to the power n. So that means y is equal to x to the power n. Now, at the coordinates, at the coordinates where you have y plus change in y, then this expression will change. Now, you also have a correspondent coordinate of x plus x plus change in x. And so now, which is theta y, which is y plus theta y equal to x plus x plus theta y is to power n. So now, what we're going to do now is we move this y to this other side, to the left, um, right hand side. You now have theta y equal to x plus theta x to the power n minus y. So theta y is equal to x plus theta x to raise to power n. Then this y is the same thing as x to the power n. So it's just uh, just substituted so that the left hand the right hand side will all be x. Will be all be expressed in terms of x. Now I haven't done this you know, according to the binomial, uh, uh, the binomial expansion. Now, if you want to expand a value that is like this, according to the binomial expansion, there is a rule. Now, you have just like you just you have um c to the power c that is c co combination r just like saying c combination r or here I'm supposed to say like the first one c combination o just be x to this x to the power n minus zero which is zero times d um, delta x to the power zero see then plus that is you're using this formula c to the power c c combination r then you now say x n minus r delta x to the power r so this is the rule we're going to use for all just like saying the summation of this just like this is equal to the summation of this when r is equal to so it starts from zero and this one to n just like this so now it starts from zero to n so that is it's just like saying that this x plus change in x out to the power n is just like saying the summation of c that is um, n combination r this is r it starts from, from zero now x n minus r here you have n which is a final term now I see theta x r so it's just like summation this is it so now that is what we're going to use to expand this and you know 
n combination arrow. The formula is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial then r factorial. So this is a formula for n combination r. Now we're going to apply this all this expression here. Now we're going to use this to this expression here to expand this. So now we need to expand this. Now to expand that, let's now create more space. To expand this, we now have using this expression here. We now have c zero. The first one is zero. N x to the power n minus zero times theta x to the power zero. Now plus c that is n combination one x to the power n minus one times theta x to the power one plus n combination two x to the power n minus two theta x all to the power two plus n combination three x to the power n minus three times theta x all to the power three plus continues to the n term. So now we we'll stop there. Then we'll now add this minus x to the power n, which is this one. Now add this term here, which is this. Now we we'll now have beta y, which is equal to. Now let's work out this. Let's work it out. So now, since n combination r is n factorial all over n minus r factorial r factorial. So c um sorry n combination o combination zero not o combination zero will give you n factorial all over n minus zero factorial zero factorial now you have this will now be n factorial all over n factorial zero factorial so zero factorial is one this will cancel out this so the whole of this is one so you have now x to the power n because n minus zero is n so then dx to the power zero anything raised to the power zero is one so that is one so you now have plus now let's clean this so that we we'll have space to solve for the other ones now n combination one which is this is the same thing as saying n factorial divided by n minus one factorial one factorial so this now you know n you know n factorial is the same thing as saying n times n minus 1 factorial all over n minus 1 factorial 1 factorial so n factorial is same thing as n times n minus 1 factorial just like when you say 3 factorial is same thing as 3 times 2 factorial now or 4 factorial is same thing as 4 times 3 factorial so because the factorial you will now let's let me just clean let me clean here like 3 factorial is just like saying 3 times 2 times 1 so the whole this 2 times 1 is 3 is 2 factorial so this this thing is same thing as saying 2 times 2 factorial 
is the same thing applicable to 4 factorial, which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So here is 3 factorial. This whole 3 times 2 times 1 is 3 factorial. So which is the same thing as 3, 4 times 3 factorial. So that is what is applicable here. So since n minus 1 factorial is on both the denominator and the denominator, we'll cancel it out. So we'll cancel the one at the denominator, the, the one at the denominator and the one at the numerator. The, the one at the numerator and the one at the denominator will cancel each other. Now one factorial. So we have now have n divided by one factorial. One factorial is one. So we now have n. So here will now be this value here now will be plus n. Then you have x to the power n minus one times delta x to the power one. So now I have plus this one. Let's now erase this. Mm -hmm. Create more space. Now you have n combination two. So n combination 2, which is this, will now give us n factorial all over n minus 2 factorial 2 factorial. So this, this n, n factorial is same thing as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial to factorial so this one is the same as this we cancel out now you are not we are left with n times n minus one divided by two factorial is two so we have x to the power n minus two delta x to the power two plus the four three let's clean this again and we'll work it out Now, for n combination 3 factorial, you have n factorial all over n minus 3 factorial, 3 factorial. So this is something else. So n can be expressed in terms of n times n minus 1 times n minus minus 2 times n minus 3. 3 factorial divided by n minus 3 factorial. 3 factorial. So this n minus 3 factorial will cancel that. Now you now have n into n minus 1, n minus 2 divided by this is 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. So divided by 6 x to the power n minus 3 times theta x cubed. So now there will be a continuation. Let's say is a continuation now plus da 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 then minus then minus this value minus x to the power n. So now let's go to the next page. So that means theta y will now be x to the power n plus n x to the power n minus 1 delta x plus n times n minus 1 all divided by 2 x to the power n minus 2 delta x all divided by 2 plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all divided by 6 x to the power n minus 3 delta x to the power 3 plus that 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 yeah. 
and then there this minus n to the power n so now if you look at it critically you see that this one will cancel out this that this expression here will cancel out this you know you have left now so that the delta y will now be n times x to the power n minus 1 times delta x plus n my m n times n minus 1 divided by 2 x to the power n min minus 2 times delta x all square plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 divided by 6 x to the power n minus 3 times delta x to the power 3 plus now if we divide all through by delta x, you now have delta y divided by delta x, which is equal to. Now you have n times x to the power n minus 1 times delta x divided by delta x plus n times n minus 1 all over 2 x to the power n minus 2 times delta x to the power 2 all divided by delta x plus n into n minus 1 n minus times n minus 2 divided by 6 times n minus m three times x to the power n minus 3 times delta x all to the power 3 all divided by delta x plus that delta so now if you look at it critically this will cancel out this you have n to the power x then n times x to the power n minus 1 plus n times n minus 1 divided by 2 times x to the power n minus 2 then if delta delta s cancel itself delta s can cancel one of this delta s squared so now you have delta x now plus n to the n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 divided by 6 times delta sorry times x to the power n minus 3 times if you cancel this cancel is of 1 cancel here remaining 2 so you have delta x to the power 2 plus that delta so now if you check the whole of this now if you check critically you see from here has delta x from here to the end has delta x now we know that the limit of delta y all over delta x when delta x tend to zero is the same thing as dy dx which will now be equal to this which is n x to the power n minus one plus n into n minus 1 divided by 2 x to the power n minus 2 the limits of the x when the x tends to 0 now plus n into n minus 1 n minus 2 divided by 6 so divide by 6 times x to the power n minus 3 then the limits when delta x tends to 0 of the x raised to power 2 
was done, 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 done. So now, from this, we now notice that now we now notice that there is an expression where you have the x. This is the x is multiplying all these other terms. Apart from the first term, it's multiplying all all these other terms from this from the second term to the last. So now, so since the x tends to zero, if the x tends to zero, the whole of the term from the second to the last is equal to zero. So that means the limit when the x tends to zero of delta y all over delta x is equal to dy dx which is equal to n times x to the power n minus 1 so this is the final answer because this whole thing the other term here will be 0 because the whole from this term from here to here is just like saying the whole of from here to here is just like saying the x times a particular function, let's say g function. And it is since this one is zero, the whole of this is zero. So the whole of this is zero. So that means from here down to the end is zero, meaning that you only have this left. So that means the y the x is equal to n x to the power n minus 1 when y is equal to x to the power n 2. The, the differential of x to, x to the power n divided by dx is equal to what? n times x to the power n minus 1. So that is the end of this. Uh, thank you for watching. I also use this medium to appreciate my subscribers and my viewers. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share the video.